tutamkaribisha moja kwa moja mchungaji aje uwanjani Praise the Lord. God bless you. Uh, are you happy? Nanisikia. Uh, I don't hear the the energy of the young people. Sisiki nguvu ya vijana. Are you happy? Mna furaha. Okay, that's that's better. Ya hiyo ni bora zaidi. Okay, unless there are old people here labda kama kuna wazee huku that are pretending to be young ambao wanajifanya kuwa vijana you know to be to be a youth unajua kuwa kijana is to be an important person ni kuwa mtu muhimu because god is the god of the youth kwa sababu mungu ni mungu wa vijana uh, after this life baada ya maisha haya we are going to an eternal youth meeting tunaenda katika mkutano wa milele wa vijana Amen Amen The Bible says uh, serve the Lord in the days of your youth because when you are married it Amen. is difficult to do so Biblia inasema kwamba mtumikieni Bwana siku za ujana wako kwa sababu utakapooa au kuolewa utaweza kufanya hivyo so many times you see when you are young you say ah, life is difficult. Eh mara nyingi sana ukiwa kijana unasema maisha ni magumu sana. I will serve God when I'm now married. Nitamtumikia Bwana nikishaoa au kuolewa. If only I get married. Nikishaoa au kuolewa I'll be the best brother. Nitakuwa ndugu mzuri sana. I'll be the best sister. Nitakuwa dada mzuri sana. Marriage does not make you a Christian ndoa haikufanyi kuwa mkristo you are supposed to be a christian before you get into marriage unatakiwa uwe mkristo kabla hujaingia kwenye ndoa you are supposed to be loving god already inatupasa tuwe tunampenda mungu tayari serving god with all your heart tukimtumikia kwa mioyo yetu yote brother branham says branham anasema under no circumstances ni katika mazingira yoyote yale should a believer you complete it then it will uh, be uh, able should a believer marry an unbeliever yani muaminio hatakiwi kuoa ama kuolewa so, na asiamini katika mazingira yoyote mm. can you say amen unaweza kusema amen uh, you see young people they want to take shortcuts unajua vijana wanapenda sana kuchukua njia za mkato and import people from the world na kuingiza watu kutoka ulimwenguni If you do that, ukifanya hivyo, you will suffer the consequences later. Utateseka kwa madhara utakayoyapata baadaye. That's why the 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 litmus test, I don't know how to say that. Eh ndio maana kipimo. yes, a kipimo. Yeah. Uh, it 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 it's you are the litmus test wewe ndio kipimo chako mwenyewe so you shouldn't be saying i'm looking for somebody who is a believer usianze kusema kwamba anatafuta mtu ambaye ni mwaminio when you are not a believer wakati wewe sio mwaminio you attract what you are wewe unavutia kile ulicho so if you know deep down you are a hypocrite kwa hiyo kama unajua kwenye kilindi cha moyo wako kwamba wewe ni mnafiki you are going to attract a hypocrite utavutia yule ambaye ni mnafiki kama wewe god is an equalizer mungu ni msawazishaji amen so i want to have a little talk with you wanataka tuongee tu kidogo um, on a serious matter kuhusu swala fulani ambalo ni la How many want us to have a serious, serious kweli wangapi wanataka tuwe na jambo ambalo ni serious uh, la okay. kumaanisha kabisa hapa All right uh, mm. I will not bother you to stand you can remain sitting Asita wasumbueni so that, uh, simama kaeni tu ipo I don't get anointed to preach Kusudi nisipate upako wa kuhubiri uh, I'm trying not to preach I want to speak it to you Najitahidi nisihubiri nataka niongee tu Revelation chapter 3 ufunuo sura ya 3 uh, verses 14 mstari wa 14 um, I'm 
I'm not far from being a youth myself. Mimi mwenyewe sio mbali sana kutoka kwa ujana. And I've uh, noticed the challenges of young people. Nami nimegundua kwamba changamoto za vijana wengi are the same everywhere. Ni zile zile kila mahali. If you go to America, ukienda Marekani, is the same. Utakuta ni yale yale. If you go to South Africa, kienda Afrika Kusini, is the same. Utakuta ni changamoto zile zile. Anywhere you go, popote utakapokwenda, is the same. Utakuta ni yale yale tu. What what just differs kinachotofautiana tu is the names of the problems ni majina ya yale matatizo so, au changamoto zile so maybe maybe in america wenda kule marekani the, the problem might be beyonce shida yawezekana ni beyonce in south africa maybe it's casper novest ukienda afrika kusini utakuta casper novest in tanzania maybe it's diamond platinum hapa tanzania utamkuta diamond platinums but it's the same problem lakini tatizo ni lile lile so it's the same devil kwa ni ibilisi yule yule uh, the bible says in unto the angel of the church of the laodiceans biblia inasema kwamba kwa malaika wa kanisa liloko laodikia write these things saith the amen and ha, andika mambo hayo asema aliyeamina the faithful and true witness the beginning of the creation of god shahidi aliyemwaminifu na wa kweli mwanzo wa kuumbwa kwa mungu i know thy works that thou art neither cold nor hot na yajua matendo yako ya kuwa hubaridi wala humoto i would thou wert cold or hot ingekuwa heri kama ungekuwa baridi au moto so then because thou art lukewarm basi kwa sababu una uvuguvugu uh, and neither cold nor hot i will spew you out of me wala hubaridi wala moto nitakutapika utoke katika kinywa changu the greatest danger hatari iliyo kubwa zaidi is being lukewarm ni kuwa vuguvugu something that is lukewarm is the worst thing kitu ambacho ni vuguvugu ndio kitu kibaya kuliko vyote if you want to save somebody tea Ukitaka kumpa kumhudumia mtu kwa chai you'd rather save them hot tea ni bora umpe chai ya moto or if you don't want to give them hot tea au kama hautampa chai ya moto give them cold tea bora umpe ya baridi kabisa uh, when i was growing up wakati nilipokuwa nakuwa we used to have uh, uh, i don't know if you have it here you just put water in a cup Ilikuwa tumezoea si kama mnayo hapa alikuwa angeweka maji kwenye kikombe and then you put sugar. Alafu naweka sukari and you drink it like that. Alafu nakunywa namna hiyo. We used to call it korota. <laughs> Tulikuwa tunaita eh, maji ya ya koro. Eh? Oh, so you have it also here. No. You don't. I don't so think. it's like cold it's cold water but with sugar. Ah yeah. inakuwa ni maji ya baridi lakini yamewekwa sukari. So it's it, it just to deceive your mind that you are having tea. Ili kudanganya akili zako kwamba unapata chai pale. Because of the sugar. Kwa sababu ya sukari. But it's not tea. Lakini sio sio chai. So you would rather give me that one or hot tea? Ni bora unipe hiyo au chai ya moto kabisa. But not lukewarm. Lakini si chai ya vuguvugu. So, so God hates a lukewarm Christian. Sa Mungu anachukia Mkristo vuguvugu. Somebody who is neither cold nor hot. Mtu ambaye sio moto na sio baridi. Somebody who is in between. Mtu ambaye yuko katikati hapo. They are in church. Hao wako kanisani. And they are in the world. Na ulimwenguni wapo. They love the message. Wanapenda ujumbe. And they love the things of the world. Na ulimwengu wanaupenda Such pia. Such kind of a person. Mtu wa aina hiyo is the one the Bible says I will spew you out of my mouth. Ndio yule ambaye Biblia inasema nitakutapika utoke kichwani mwangu. So brother Branham says Sasa ndo Branham anasema there is no drunk sober man. Hakuna mtu ambaye ni mlevi mlevia si mlevia so it's either you are drunk ni either umelewa or it's either you are sober ama ujalewa so i don't know which one you are sasa sijui wewe uko ni are you, are you drunk or are you sober je yeah, umelewa ama uko timamu so i'm asking nauliza 
Which one do you prefer? Are you drunk or are you sober? Kipi ambacho ungependelea? Kuwa mlevi ama uwe timamu? I'm waiting for the answer. Nasubiri ajibu. So you are in between. Kwa hivyo mko katikati, sivyo? Because I'm not getting the answer. Kwa sababu sipati jibu. Are you drunk? Je, umelewa or are you sober? Ama uko timamu. Sober. Is yeah. it sober? Yeah. Oh, eh, kwa hiyo timamu, sio? Okay, I thought you were those ones that went to Pentecost. Eh nafikiri nifikiri kwamba ni nyie ambao mlienda Pentecost wale walioenda And the scripture Pentecost. says these are not drunk as you suppose. Ambapo <laughs> maandiko alisema hawa hawajalewa kama mnavyodhania. Okay. Amen. He says because thou sayest I'm rich. Sema kwa sababu nasema wewe ni tajiri. And increased with goods. Na umejitajirisha kwa mali. And he have need of nothing. Nawe huna haja ya kitu. And knowest not thou art wretched. Nawe hujui ya kuwa wewe umnyonge. Miserable and poor. Na wenye mashaka na maskini. And blind and naked. Na kipofu na uchi. I cancel thee. Na kupa shauri. Buy of me gold tried with fire. Ununue kwangu dhahabu hiyo safishwa kwa moto. That thou mayest be rich. Upate kuwa tajiri and white raiment. Na mavazi meupe that thou mayest be clothed. Upate kuvaa and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. Aibu ya uchi wako isionekane. And anoint thy eyes with eye self. Na dawa ya macho that thou mayest see ya kujipaka macho yako upate kuona as many as i love wote ni wapendao mimi i rebuke and chasten ninawakemea na kuwarudi be zealous therefore and repent basi uwe na bidii ukatubu one of the signs that god loves you moja wapo ya ishara ya kwamba mungu anakupenda is you must be rebuked ni kwamba lazima ukemewe you must be chastised lazima urudiwe if god cannot rebuke you kama mungu hawezi kukukemea if the word cannot correct you kama neno haliwezi kukusaisha there are high chances that you are a serpent seed basi kuna asilimia kubwa kwamba wewe ni uzao wa nyoka if you hear the word being preached unaposikia neno linahubiriwa the pastor comes and correct things Mchungaji anakuja hapa anasaisha mambo Sunday in and Sunday out Juma la kwanza Juma linalofuata But your life does not change Lakini maisha yako hayabadiliki You must be worried about your soul Lazima ujisikie vibaya kuhusu nafsi yako Oh if you were somebody that used to hear the word Ama kama wewe ni mtu fulani ulikuwa umezoea kusikia neno And something in your heart Na kitu fulani ndani ya moyo wako Would feel bad if you were doing something wrong Kingejisikia vibaya kwa sababu unafanya jambo ambalo unikosa And you would come and confess it and repent of it Na ungekuja na kulitubia jambo hilo And then again you hear the word Na baadaye unasikia neno and then you confess it and you Afu, repent of it. Una kiri jambo hilo na unatubu. But down the line, lakini kwenye mstari huo kuendelea chuka you chini. You started not feeling bad. Ulifika mahali ukawa hujisikii hata vibaya. You are in a dangerous place. Basi huko kwenye na You are now putting on the Laodicean mindset. Huko mahali hatari na umeshajivika akili ya Kilaudikia. There is a difference between a young person who is a believer. Kuna tofauti kati ya kijana mdogo ambaye ni mwaminio and a young person who is an unbeliever. Na kijana mdogo ambaye si mwaminio. I know generations are changing. Mimi najua vizazi vinabadilika. But the time that we came into the message. Kini wakati tutapo, tulipokuwa tunaingia kwenye ujumbe sisi. We, we did not have it easy. Haikuwa rahisi. We are now living in a generation Sasa, that it's like a microwave generation. Tunaishi katika kizazi ambacho ni kama cha mashine ile ya microwave. They yeah. want everything fast. Wanataka kitu kiende haraka. Uh, I want I want to be married now. Nataka nioe au nioe sasa hivi. I want I want the job now. Nataka kazi sasa hivi. I, I want everything now now. Nataka kila kitu sasa hivi sasa hivi. And it's a soft generation. Na ni kizazi yavuyavu. It's a generation if you rebuke them. Kizazi ambacho ukiwakemea they become angry. Wanakasirika. 
If you rebuke them, ukiwakemea, they want to leave the church. Wanataka kuhama kanisa. If you rebuke them, ukiwakemea, they start a WhatsApp group to discuss the pastor. Wanaanza kundi la WhatsApp kumjadili mchungaji. Hey, the pastor is always on us. Mchungaji bwana anatufata fata sana na kuwa mgumu kwetu. If God loves you, kama Mungu anakupenda he rebukes you anakukemea he chastises you anakurudi not soft si la ravu yavu laini laini but a hard lakini nakuwa ngumu the scripture says it's only a bastard child maandiko anasema ni mtoto haramu tu that god does not rebuke ambaye Mungu hamkemei mm. So if you are a child of God, kama wewe ni mtoto wa Mungu, you must accept correction. Lazima ukubali masaisho. You must have something inside of you. Lazima uwe na kitu ndani yako. That says talk about me. Ambacho kinasema hebu ninenee. Is that right? Yeye ni sawa. He says behold I stand at the door and I knock. Anasema tazama na simama mlangoni nabisha. Behold I stand at the door and I knock. Tazama na simama mlangoni nabisha. If any man hear my voice, kama mtu fulani alisikia sauti yangu. And open the door, aka fungua mlango. I will come in to him. Nitaingia kwake. And will sup with him. Nami nitashiriki pamoja naye. And he with me. Na yeye pamoja naye. Brother Branham read this scripture. Ndugu Branham alisoma andiko hili. And preached the message doors in door. Akahubiri ujumbe mlango milango ndani ya mlango. And Brother Branham said there was an artist. Nabii anasema kulikuwa na mchoraji. He painted sana the picture of this scripture alipaka ali, alichora picha ya andiko hili he said he draw a door alichora mlango and he drew jesus christ na akanchora yesu knocking on the door akibisha kwenye ule mlango and uh, his picture was brought before many people na picha yake ile ikaletwa mbele ya watu wengi so that they can comment on the picture kusudi waweze kuikosoa ama kuangalia and when the kutoa people, maneno yao kila moja when the people looked at it they criticized it e waliyoangalia ile picha wakaikosoa and they said there's something wrong with the picture wakasema kuna kasoro kwenye picha hiyo the door does not have a handle huo mlango mbona hauna hauna komeo and the artist said hakuna kitasa pale it, yule, okay yule mchoraji akasema he said it's not a mistake asio kosa he said it's intentional nimefanya makusudi that the door does not have a handle kwamba mlango hauna kitasa the handle of the door hicho kitasa cha mlango huo is on the inside kiko ndani the one that is supposed to open yule anayetakiwa kufungua is on the inside yuko ndani now brother branham says doors ndugu branham akasema milango in door ndani ya mlango so the, 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 there's one door sasa kuna mlango mmoja but when you open that door lakini ukifungua mlango huo there is many doors inside kuna milango mingine mingi ndani humo and brother branham says our mistake most of the times na ndugu branham anasema kwamba makosa yetu mara nyingi sana is we come to church ni kwamba tunakuja kanisani we accept jesus tunamkubali yesu we open the door tunafungua mlango but we don't want him to have access to the many doors of our life. Lakini hatumtaki yeye awe na fursa ya kufikia milango mingine maishani mwetu. And that is the challenge. Na hiyo ndio changamoto ya vijana. You want the word? Neno mnalitaka. But the word should not touch this part of my Lakini life. Lakini neno lisiguse sehemu hii ya maisha. The word should not touch this area of my life. Neno lisiguse maisha yangu so mwangu upande huu. The door is open. Mlango umefunguliwa but the other doors there is no access to them lakini ile milango mingine haiwezi kufikiwa now there is something that is a challenge sasa kuna jambo fulani ambalo ni changamoto to the young people kwa vijana 90% asilimia 90 of you that are listening to me this afternoon ya ninyi mnaonisikiliza mchana wa leo you are in trouble with that mko katika cha shida kubwa na jambo hilo hilo so i want to talk about that nataka nikizungumzie something that you young people are in a private relationship with 
kitu ambacho ninyi vijana mna mahusiano ya maficho au ya kisiri na kitu hicho I want to talk about the spirit of ponia ni roho ya ya ponia moja mm-hmm. tuseme hivyo so um, now the word ponia sasa neno ponia it comes from the word pornography linatokana na na neno pornography ambalo lina ma, ngo, let me maybe explain it because there is no Kiswahili okay all right explain it eh linatokana na neno pornography au eh, zile video za ngono picha za ngono zile mm-hmm. video yes. so 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 it's, it's ponia mm-hmm. and then the graphics the picture eh, ni eh, so that's how it's broken it's video pornography. pamoja na picha mm-hmm ambazo zimeunganishwa pamoja. So, uh, so some people say maybe I've never watched pornography. Baadhi ya watu watasema kwamba ah, lakini mimi sijaangalia mapicha hayo, mavideo hayo. The spirit yeah, of ponia is yikes. not is not really about pornography. Roho ya ponia sio hasa kuzungumzia ule kitendo chenyewe cha hayo mambo wanayofanya. It's about sexual sin. Sexual sin. Sexual sin, yeah. Ni dhambi ya kingono. Right. Now, sexual sin. Sasa dhambi ya kingono. Brother Branham says is the original sin. Branham anasema ndio dhambi ya asili. And now what the devil has done. Sasa kila ambacho shetani amekifanya. He has disguised himself. Ameji amejificha kwa namna fulani yeye mwenyewe. That that he makes you to be a partaker of that. Kwamba amekufanya wewe uwe mshiriki wa jambo hilo even without being involved in the actual act hata kama wewe mwenyewe hujahusika kwenye kitendo chenyewe hasa and that's what we want to talk about na hicho sasa ndio nataka kuzungumzia so what Kwa the yo? devil has done in this day shetani shetani alichokifanya katika siku hizi brother branham says the branham anasema uh, maybe re- let me read this this Labda, quotation ningoja nisome nuku hiyo it will do you a lot of good ya itawasaidieni sana Brother Branham says now I know thy works sana jua matendo yenu and the last to be more than the first na kwamba yule wa mwisho amezidi yule wa kwanza as we have already said this age is called the dark ages kama ambavyo tumesema kwamba wakati huu unaitwa zama za giza because it was indeed the darkest period of all history kwa sababu ilikuwa ndio kipindi cha giza kuliko se vipindi vyote vya historia this is in the theatrian church huo ni wakati wa theatira he says it was the age of pope innocent the third anasema ilikuwa ni wakati wa papa innocent wa tatu he was claimed that he was a vicar of Christ. Alikuwa akidai kwamba yeye ndiye badala ya Kristo. Supreme sovereign over the church and the world. Alikuwa na utawala mkamilifu juu ya kanisa na dunia nzima. Who instituted the inquisition which under his direction shed more blood than any other time except the time of the reformation ambaye alianzisha mahakama ya kuhukumu watakatifu ambayo ilimwaga damu nyingi sana kuliko vipindi vyote vya mateso watakatifu brother branham says it was the age of pornocracy ndugu branham anasema ilikuwa ni kipindi cha ngono na vitendo vya kingono and the rule of harlots na utawala wa malaya He says Sagarius the third he had a mistress. Sagarius wa tatu alikuwa na malaya wake and filled the papa choir with paramount and bastard sons. Na alijaza kwaya ya papa na hawara and na, turned na, the papa palace into a den of robbers. Alijaza kwaya ya papa na hawara na wana wa haramu na kuifanya ikulu ya papa kuwa pango la wanyang'anyi so i want to skip to go to this part it says it was the age of papal schism for two lines of popes kulikuwa ni wakati wa mafarakano ya kipapa kwa kuwa serikali mbili za mapapa one ruling from avignon Mo- and the other from rome moja akitawala kutoka avignon na hiyo nyingine kutoka rumi cursed and fought each other walilaniana na kupigana wao kwa wao these popes were not guilty of 
were not only guilty of immoral sex acts. Mapapa hawa hawakuwa tu na hatia ya matendo mabaya ya uzinzi, fathering scores of illegitimate children. Wakizaa chungu mbovu ya watoto haram, committing sodomy. Wakifanya ulawiti, etc. but were guilty of selling priestly offices to the highest bidders. Na kadhalika lakini walikuwa na hatia ya kuuza vyeo vya ukuhani kwa wazabuni waliolipa pesa nyingi zaidi. This is why brother Branham was hated with the Catholic Church. Hii ndio sababu wakatoliki walimchukia sana Branham kwa sababu ya maneno hayo. He exposed the worst things about them. Aliweka bayana kabisa mambo machafu waliyoyafanya kipindi hicho. So he talks about this age. Asa ananena kuhusu wakati huu. This dark age. Wakati huu wa giza. We know that uh, people die Najua kwamba watu wanakufa but spirits do not die. Lakini roho hazifi. So he is talking about the age of pornocracy. Sasa ananena kuhusu kipindi cha umalaya ungono. When the devil was making people to sin. Wakati ibilisi alivyowafanya watu wafanye dhambi. And uh, nowadays na sasa hivi we are now living in an age of defilement. Tunaishi katika kizazi cha kuharibu young people cha uharibifu living a double life wa vijana wakiishi maisha ya yenye sura mbili come to church a brother wanakuja kanisani ndugu come to church a sister nakuja kanisani ni dada but out there you are not living right lakini nje huko hauishi sahihi you got boyfriends and girlfriends that don't believe the message una Ma, mausiano na vijana wengine wa kike na wa kiume wasioamini ujumbe committing acts that god does not allow mkifanya vitendo ambavyo mungu hawezi kuviunga mkono and when the word comes na wakati neno linakuja when the preacher is talking about you are blessed mhubiri akizungumza kuhusu kubarikiwa you are going into the rapture mnaenda kwenye unyakuo the young people say amen vijana wanasema amina but when the preacher says you must repent lakini mhubiri akisema lazima utubu you are involved in things you are not supposed to be involved unajihusisha na mambo ambayo unatakiwa kujihusisha nayo the young people they hate that wa vijana wanaanza kuchukia mahubiri ya namna hiyo when the preacher says repent from your ways mhubiri akisema tubia mamjia zako hizo dress right vaa vizuri talk right nena ongea vizuri respect your parents heshima wazazi wako they don't want to hear that hawataki kusikia vitu hivyo they hivyo. close their doors wanafunga milango yao because of the influence of the world kwa sababu ya huo ushawishi wa dunia so you find you're only a christian or during service days kwa hiyo unajikuta unakuwa mkristo katika siku za ibada but every other day lakini siku zingine i like the world we uko kama ulimwengu the spirit of this age roho ya wakati huu has gotten a hold of you imekushikilia there is a promise kuna ahadi that we are going to have a generation kwamba tutakuwa na kizazi of righteous young people cha vijana ambao ni wenye haki we shall have perfection tutakuwa na ukamilifu in the middle of satan's eden katikati ya ya, ya edeni ya shetani and what the devil has done now na kila ambacho shetani amefanya sasa using the media of, of cell phones kwa kutumia vyombo vya vya simu hivi he has made access to sin very easy amefanya mlango wa kuifikia dhambi uwe mwepesi kabisa when we started we didn't have phones like this tulipoanza na kushikilia simu za namna hii we had phones that would only allow you to send a message and call tulikuwa na simu ambazo zingekuruhusu tu kutuma message na kupiga tu. with a very small screen ambazo zilikuwa na ka screen dogo sana you look at the message Unaangalia message and that's it. Na bas. There is nothing extra. Na kuna zaidi ya hapo. And the devil thought okay I'll, I'll put my game higher. Na shetani akasema ngoja mniongeze mchezo unoge sawa sawa. He invented Facebook. Akabuni Facebook. He invented uh, WhatsApp. Akabuni WhatsApp. He invented uh, TikTok. Akabuni TikTok. He invented Instagram. Akabuni Instagram. I, I, may, I don't know some of these other things but he invented all these uh, Mengine siyajui lakini akabuni yote hayo. Social media platforms. Majukwaa ya ya 
ya mitandao ya kijamii sorry so it, it looks like we want to socialize kwa hiyo inaonekana tunataka tu wa kijamii jamii but the agenda is not for socialism lakini swala sio kuwa wa kijamii the agenda is to get your soul swala lenyewe ni kukamata nafsi yako now you find a sister in kipawa tabernacle kwa unakuta dada wa kanisa la kipawa is busy talking to somebody in the uk yuko busy anaongea na mtu yuko ulaya huko that they don't know ambaye hawafahamiani kabisa they have never met hata hawajawahi kukutana and they are having sleepless nights about that person na anakuwa na usiku anajinyima usingizi kabisa anaongea na huyo mtu anawasiliana and this boy is anointed with the spirit of pornocras na huyu kijana kavuviwa na upako wa gonongono tu mama doesn't know about this boy mama hamjui huyo kijana daddy doesn't know about this boy baba huyo kijana pastor doesn't know about this boy mchungaji hamjui This, this boy is a secret. Huyo kijana ni kawa siri. Every time the sister before she sleeps she doesn't pray. Kila siku dada anaenda kulala haombi kwanza. She goes into the blanket. Anaingia kwenye blanket. She's on WhatsApp. Yuko na WhatsApp. Talking to somebody she doesn't know. Anaongea na mtu hamjui. That person is busy commenting on her. Yule jamaa yuko busy anatoa na anajibu anarudisha majibu. You look like Beyonce. Unaku anakusifia. Wewe mrembo kama Beyonce. You Beyonce. Wewe ni Beyonce wewe. You should, you should refuse that. Unatakiwa ukatae upuzi huo. And say what kind of a devil did you see in me? Uanze kumwambia umwambie kwamba hivi ni aina gani ya ibilisi umemwona ndani yangu. That you saw Beyonce in me. Paka unaniita Beyonce mimi. Beyonce is not my idol. Beyonce mimi sio sanamu yangu. My idol is Esther of the Bible. Mimi mfano wangu ni Esther wa Biblia. My idol is Mida. Mfano wangu ni Meda dada Meda. Those are the people that I, I identify with. Hao ndio watu ambao unajitambulisha nao. Maybe it's not even a brother from far away. Labda inawezekana sio ndugu kutoka mbali. Sometimes it's our boys here. Wakati mwingine vijana wetu hawa hawa. Anointed with the devil. Wamepakwa mafuta na ibilisi. Moving at the speed of lightning. Wanatembea katika roho hiyo. Is busy talking to this sister. Anaongea na dada huyo. And is talking to that sister. Anaongea na dada mwingine. And is talking to that sister. Anaohusiana na dada mwingine. And talking to that sister. Anaohusiana na dada mwingine. Causing confusion in church. Analeta kuchanganyikiwa kanisani. Every time the word is preached like this. Kila wakati neno likihubiriwa hivi. After this meeting baada ya mkutano he starts going yeah anaenda don't listen to them usiwasikilize they are already married they don't know about this wow kwa sababu wa tayari washaoa hawajui i love you with all my heart mimi nakupenda na kwa moyo wangu wote he leaves this one anamwacha huyo he goes to another one anaenda kwa mwingine i love you with all my heart anamwambia na kupenda sana how many hearts do you have sasa una mioyo mingapi wewe you are busy giving hearts dishing hearts wewe uko ta Bize unagawa mioyo tu unagawa mioyo kwa watu That devil has made sin so easy Yaani shetani amefanya dhambi imekuwa rahisi mno And then he brought a WhatsApp calling Na ameleta zile video WhatsApp za kupiga bianga na simu zile And then he went on to WhatsApp video calling Ame hama mpaka amefika kwenye WhatsApp video mnaonana kwa video And recently I was shocked Na hivi karibuni nilishangazwa sana Somebody sent me a message pastor Nilishtuka mtu mtu fulani alinipigia alitumia uh, ujumbe I'm going to send you a picture of something Asema mchungaji nataka nikutumie kitu fulani hapa I open the picture Nikafungua picha ah, I see the picture Nikaona picha So I closed the WhatsApp I wanted to go back to see the picture again Nikafunga picha nikafunga WhatsApp nikataka kurudi tena nione picha Haipo It's it's like they put a setting that you just see it once ni kama vile wamefanya setting kwamba ile picha unaiona mara moja tu and you can see it again na uwezi kuiona tena that is not uh, to try and help people it's not helping people hiyo haiwasaidii watu the idea is to destroy people yani hiyo si kwamba inasaidia watu to say you can send things and they disappear hiyo imelenga kuwaharibu so, kwamba no. uweze kutuma kitu alafu kifiche Pastors now we are living in an age. Sasa wachungaji wanaishi katika wakati ambao the young people that are sitting here. Vijana ambao wamekaa hapa. Some of them are sending naked pictures. Wengine wanatumiana picha za uchi of themselves. Za wao kwenye wenyewe. Sister goes in the bathroom. Dada anaenda kwenye bafuni anajipiga picha yuko uchi and send boys. Anatumia vijana of yourself. Picha yake mwenyewe ya uchi. And the boy says I will delete na kijana anasema nitafiti nitafuta 
That boy lied to you. Eh, uyo kijana alikudanganya. He is not going to delete. Hata futa hiyo kisha. He has kept it. Ameihifadhi. And if you keep sending, na ukiendelea kutuma, God is going to make it that one day. Mungu ataruhusu kwamba siku moja, you are going to send it to the pastor by mistake. Utaitumia picha mchungaji to, bila kujua. To, to, to show you that you didn't listen. Ili Yaani uonyeshe kwamba hukusikii. Wakati Maheri alikuwa kwa Boys is the same thing. Vijana wa kiume na nyinyi vile. You must vye. take correction. Lazima mjisaishe. You must be real. Lazima muwe halisi. Now sexual sin. Sasa haya mambo ya dhambi ya ngono hii. Original yi. sin. Dhambi ya ngono au dhambi ya asili is the sin that has got many names. Ndio dhambi ambayo ina majina mengi. It's called adultery. Inaitwa Unaitwa uzinzi it's called fornication inaitwa washerati it's called uh, oral sex e, ngo, ngono ya midomo sawa it's also called rape pia inaitwa kubaka it's called pedophile ah, ama e, pia inaitwa e, mtu mzee ana ana anakamata kitoto kidogo ana pedophilia anakiharibu kuharibu watoto wadogo it's also called homosexuality pia inaitwa uh, inaitwa homosexuality inaitwa ushoga it's also called lesbianism pia inaitwa usagaji it's also called transgenderism pia inaitwa kubadilisha jinsia it's called gender fluidity <laughs> <laughs> yani hiyo inaitwa karibu kila kitu yani upuzi wa kila aina same sin kitu dhambi ile ile the devil is trying to come with a, with with sweet names shetani anajaribu kuja na majina matamu matamu to, to protect sin kulinda dhambi but it's the same sin lakini ni kitu dhambi ile ile now the spirit of ponia sasa roho hiyo ya ponia it does not necessarily mean that you were involved in the actual act si kwamba eti lazima ujihusishe na tendo lenyewe you may not have been yawezekana haujafanya hivyo but you present yourself lakini unajiweka weka mwenyewe to be an enticer kuwa mshawishi yani kuwa mvutiaji so you can be a brother kwa unaweza ukawa ndugu a young man kijana tu mwa mvulana and the way you present yourself na namna unavyojiweka tu you are presenting yourself like a god unajiweka weka yani unafanana kama mbuzi tu be, 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 be. Eh. like that namna hiyo the spirit is on you roho iko juu yako you feel like i'm the most handsome boy at church unajisikia kwamba ah, mimi ndio mvulana mwenye sura nzuri kanisani kuliko wote mabinti wote pale lazima watani he talks to yeah. this one unaongea na huyu he talks to this one unaongea na yule um, you, you turn around this whole church yani unageuza geuza kanisa zima yani causing confusion unaleta kuchanganyikiwa spirit is upon you hiyo roho iko juu yako e, can i have your number ebu na pini pina baba can i have your number nipe namba yako can i have your number nipe namba yako ya simu that spirit is upon you hiyo roho iko juu yako you are out there in the world huko nje huko ulimwengu nobody seeing you hakuna naye kuona you have girlfriends una wasichana marafiki that spirit is upon you hiyo roho iko juu yako maybe you are a sister labda ni dada you say maybe i'm a victim so uh, labda mimi ndio ndio muhusika hapa you are not a victim wewe sio muathirika if that spirit is upon you sister kama roho hiyo iko juu yako you don't want a normal hairstyle hutaki eh, mtindo wa nywele wa kawaida you find the sister wants now to drop the hair unakuta dada anataka and close one eye af, asuke a, afunge nywele au akichana afunike jicho moja there is trouble there kuna tatizo hapo already tatizo ma, matatizo yameshaanza one eye jicho moja the shoes viatu she doesn't want no more shoes hataki viatu vya kawaida high heel like this anataka mikokoko and she doesn't come early to church na hawai uh, hawai kanisani she wants to come late anataka achelewe chelewe kidogo to church and and walk ili to watu the wote wameshakaa apite na kokoko pale look confused ili awachanganye wote so, so that everyone can see her kila mtu aweze kumuona 
when she, she, she when she is dressing na anapovalia sasa even if the dress does not require a belt hata kama nguo she wants to put a belt on the dress hata kama nguo haihitaji mkanda so that, lazima afunge so mkanda the boys can see the figure ili vijana waone umbo is the spirit of ponia ni roho ya ngonongono hiyo and you supposed to say lord help me na lazima useme mungu nisaidie nisaidie nitoke kwenye hili if you are a boy and you are a brother kama ni mvulana ndugu your trousers is supposed to be like mine suruai zako lazima ziwe kama hii ya kwangu this is not a soccer stadium zile za kutight hivi usi uwanja wa mpira we wear skin tight ambapo wanavaa wanavaa tight you go to the shop i want skinny jeans Unaenda dukani sema hebu nipeni nani kama tia chini Are you skinny Wewe sasa wewe ni, ni mtu wa kushuna ngozi Tight 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 Nguo za kubana zote za kubana I don't know if that fashion is now here in Tanzania Sijui kama huo mtindo huko hapa Tanzania But in South Africa they know it's skinny and it's it's like the trousers doesn't want to it touch the shoes Ni ili kule Afrika Kusini zipo yani na tight hii inakuwa ina tight sana alafu and you seeing the socks suruali haitakiwi kugusa viatu it's like a three quarter trousers inakuwa kama suruali ina urefu ka, kama wa robo tatu hivi it's like the brother just took his young brother's trousers and wore it and come utafikiri ndugu kachukua suruali ya mdogo wake kalazimishia kuvaa <laughs> it's not fashion sio mtindo it's devils ni mapepo Can you say amen? Naweza kusema amina. Tanzania is hot. Tanzania inajo, ina, ina joto sana. Hell is water. Lakini kuzimu ina joto zaidi. Yeah. Can't have a brother unbuttoning all his shirts now. Hey, today it's hot with his chest out walking in the street. Unaweza ka, ah. hivi inawezekana ndugu ukafungua vifungo vyote vya shati utembee kifua wazi na tumbo wazi wanasema joto sana joto sana hapana spirit of ponia ni roho ya ngonongono that is gotten the young people ambayo imewakamata vijana and when the devil has gotten you into that space na wakati ibilisi amekuingiza kwenye hiyo roho you become secretive unaanza kuwa msiri you find the phone has got a, a, a password like the map of tanzania unakuta simu ina 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 da, 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 da. ina password kama ramani ya Tanzania ya ah. pako kama unachora ramani what is in that phone that needs a password that nini kiko ndani ya hiyo simu mpako unahitaji yani what password is... ya kupandisha na kushusha sana vidole what is in that phone kuna nini humo you can't leave your phone like this uwezi kuacha simu yako hapo and if you, if, if if it rings na ikipiga tu kalia kaita running away from the people unakimbia unawaacha watu naenda kule ha huh? the ringing tone ule mlio wako wa simu on sunday jumapili it is a christian song ni wimbo wa kikristo on monday jumatatu it's ama piano i don't know if you have ama piano here si kama mna nani tu dum 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 eh on the phone of a brother and a sister kwenye simu ya ndugu au dada mlio wa the pockets have become the hide out of the devil unakuta mifuko imekuwa ni sehemu ya kufichia ibilisi in, in those pockets kwenye hiyo mifuko hiyo every nyaka nyaka is going on there yani kila takataka zinaendelea humo it's hiding in there kuna vitu vimefichwa humo you, you hear songs about everything utasikia nyimbo za kila aina humo in your phones kwenye simu zenu some of you are Kanye West and what 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 wengine ni akina Kanye West in a, in all those people wa, wa, the, the singers of Tanzania au waimbaji wanamuziki wa Tanzania is in the phone of a believer iko ndani ya simu ya mwanamke and then in the same phone na kwenye simu hiyo hiyo there is songs about Cloverdale kuna uju, na nyimbo ku, za Cloverdale on, on the muimbaji songs. wa nyimbo za only believe the bible says it how be it sasa inawezekanaje Biblia inasema out of the same well kutoka kwenye kisima kimoja comes bitter and sweet water yatoke maji machungu na matamu kwa wakati mmoja the same mouth that is saying god bless you mungu ambariki sana mungu ambariki sana yeye kinywa kile kile kinachosema mungu akubariki mungu akubariki mungu akubariki hapa is the same mouth that is kissing people under ages 
kinywa kinywa kile kile ndio mtaani kinavuta watu kinawapigia mwa 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 unapiga unaita wasichana when some are being celebrated here on the altar wengine wanapokuwa wanafungwa engagement hapa to say i do this one saying i do a wanafunga ndoa hapa mmoja anasema mimi nafanya hivi na mimi nitafanya hivi and the people are saying lelelele na watu wanapiga vigereke and you are under a hedge alafu wewe sasa umejificha mahali and the mosquitoes are the ones that are ululating for you na mbu ndio wanakupigia vigeregere that is not right hiyo sio sawa that is not right hiyo sio sahi brother branham says bwana anasema to do right kufanya sahihi is my duty to god ni wajibu wangu kwa Mungu. To think right, kuwaza sahihi, is my duty to myself. Ni wajibu wangu kwa mimi mwenyewe. He says and I will come out right. Na kisha nitatoka nikiwa sahihi. So he says here is a slogan. Sasa anasema hapa kuna msemo. To do right, kufanya sahihi, is my duty to God. Ni wajibu wangu kwa Mungu. Think right. Kuwaza sahihi is my duty to myself. Ni wajibu wangu kwangu mwenyewe. And I will always come out right. Na ndipo nitatoka nikiwa niko sahihi. You do right for God. Hebu fanye aliyo sahihi kwa Mungu. You think right for yourself. Uwaze aliyo sahihi kwa ajili yako mwenyewe. If you want to come out right. Kama unataka utoke ukiwa sahihi. Brother Branham, Brother Branham says if you want angels to appear to you. Ndugu Branham anasema kwamba ukitaka malaika wakutembelee think about them wawazie if you want a righteous life ukitaka maisha ya haki think righteous masafi hebu waza mambo ya haki think right waza sahihi you come right utakuwa sahihi do right fanya sahihi you come right utakuwa sahihi if you don't need to have deacons to be watching you hakuna haja ya mashemasi kukufuatilia fatilia do it for yourself lifanye wewe mwenyewe there is a rapture kuna unyakuo that people are going to ambao watu wanauendea and that rapture is not going to be by by popular vote na unyakuo huo utatokana na kura you're, ya wengi you are not going into the rapture because you are coming to kipawa church wewe hata hautanyakuliwa kwa sababu unakuja kanisa la kipawa no, you are going to life tabernacle ama unaenda maskani ya uzima no hapana you are going into the rapture unaenda kwenye unyakuo because you as an individual kwa sababu wewe kama mtu binafsi you have made a decision umefanya maamuzi to say the god of the message ya kusema kwa kumtumikia mungu wa ujumbe is my god ni mungu wangu some of us we were not born in the message baadhi yetu sisi hatukuzaliwa kwenye ujumbe and we wish we were born in the message na ungetamani lai tungezaliwa kwenye ujumbe but those that are born in the message lakini wengi wanaozaliwa kwenye ujumbe huu trouble makers ni wa matatizo matupu yaani wao ndio vyanzo vya shida they don't value this message hawathamini ujumbe brother was born in the message ndugu nimezaliwa kwenye message i've seen it all nimeona yote we had brothers come to preach for us tulikuwa na ndugu anakuja tu tu watatuhubiria we have altar since i was a baby ah mimi nimekuwa yani muaminio toka ndogo very stubborn Le? very stubborn akiwa yani mtu huyo mwenyewe ni mkaidi even if you are born in the message hata kama umezaliwa kwenye ujumbe you need to come to a place lazima ufike mahali where you make your own decision ambapo utafanya maamuzi yako mwenyewe about the god of this message kuhusu mungu wa ujumbe huu no one is going to go on anybody's ticket hakuna atakayeenda kwa ticket ya mtu mwingine you will stand alone utasimama peke yako regardless of saying i'm young bila kujali kusema wewe oh, mimi ni kwa kijana there was a young person brother branham said kuna kijana mmoja ndugu branham anasema you need to come to the altar girl kwamba unahitaji kuja madhabahuni binti the word had been preached neno limehubiriwa and the girl did not repent na ki, yule binti hakutubu and then brother branham said ndugu branham akasema uh, this girl huyu binti had seen the opportunity to repent alikuwa ameona fursa ya kutubu and she crossed the line na akavuka mstari and when she did that alipofanya hivyo she met brother branham one day akakutana na branham mara siku moja and she was drinking na alikuwa anakunywa pombe then she started shouting at brother branham kaanza kumpigia kelele ndugu branham preachi ah mbiri preachi tumishi he says what a horrible language akawaza eh hey, yeye ni lugha ya namna gani she is not calling him preacher hamuiti muhubiri she is using slang i don't know if you have slang yani, here 
Yani maneno ya mtaani yeah. ya mkato kato. You know that language is not for believers. Unajua hizo lugha za mtaani sio za waaminio. You can be a brother or a sister Uwezi kuwa ndugu ama dada and you are talking the language of the people at the taxi rank. Alafu wewe unaongea lugha za watu kama walioko sokoni au kwenye vituo vya daladala. When a believer is greeting they greet using the inside of their hand. Muamini anapokusalimia na kusalimia. He greet like this. Anakusalimia Mungu akubariki. We don't say hey hey Mungu ambariki. Hey, no, no. Atusei Mungu akubariki mnapeana tu. So, you can you imagine Jesus coming down olive mount olives. Waazia Yesu akishuka kutoka milima ya mzeituni. And he's like Peter yo yo yeah. Hey, hey, oh yeah. Hey, Petro hey. vipi mambo vipi? Jesus doing that. Yesu akifanya hivi. And you are busy doing that at school. Na wewe unafanya hey, hivyo shule. Yo, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. Vipi? Ah, he hypocrite. Ah wewe ni mnafiki wewe. You shouldn't do that. Ufanye usitaki kufanya hivyo. Be a Christian here. Uwe mkristo hapa. Be a Christian at home. Uwe mkristo nyumbani. Be a Christian at school at work. Uwe mkristo shule na kazini. Everywhere. Kila mahali. Be a Christian. Uwe mkristo. Be a person who is bridled. Uwe mtu ambaye yani uko vile vile tu ubadiliki. Who is got control around. Au mtu ambaye unaweza kujidhibiti mwenyewe. So you need to make a decision. Unatakiwa ufanye maamuzi. This little girl, huyo binti mdogo. Brother Branham says she started saying. Ndugu Branham anasema alianza kusema. Brother Branham. Ndugu Branham. I see my mother in hell. Namuona mama yangu akiwa kuzimu. Being fried in a saucer pan. Anakaangwa kwenye sufuria. Imagine. Waza. She had the opportunity to receive the message. Alikuwa na fursa ya kupokea ujumbe. She rejected it. Akakataa. Look at what she's now seeing. Sasa angalia anachokiona. Her life maisha is going to the wrong direction. Yanaeni maisha yake yanaenda sehemu ambayo sio. Brother Branham says you are today. Mbrana anasema kwamba ulicho leo the decision that you made five years ago. Kinatokana na maamuzi uliyofanya miaka mitano iliyopita. And I want to say to you. Nataka niwaambieni. You are five years from now. Wewe miaka mitano ijayo huko. The decision that you make today itaamua ita yani utakachokuwa miaka mitano ijayo itatokana na maamuzi utakayofanya leo I remember when I came to the message Nakumbuka alipokuja kwenye ujumbe The brother who was trying to testify to me Ndugu aliyekuwa anajaribu kunishuhudia mimi He himself was not a message believer yet Yeye mwenyewe alikuwa sio maamini wa ujumbe bado So he just brought the books Kwa alileta tu vitabu at school and I read them Shuleni nikasoma vitabu vile In fact I didn't read them Ada, sasa sikusoma. He was trying to explain Revelation 10. Alikuwa anajaribu kufafanua ufunuo 10. And he had people gathering around him. Na alikuwa na watu wamemkusanyikia pale. And because I wanted that attention. Na kwa sababu nilikuwa makini kusikiliza vile. I just went and I took those books. Niena nikachukua tu vile vitabu. And I started talking whatever was coming in my mind. Nikaanza kuongea chochote kicho nitoka kichwani. So I said, "Yeah, this guy is not explaining it very well. This is the way it really happened." Nikaanza kusema, "Huyu afafanue vizuri. Hii tokea vizuri namna hii. Ngoja ni wafafanue." And the people started clapping hands for me. Watu wakaanza kunipigia makofi. And this guy said you are very good at explaining. Huyo jamaa akasema, "Eh, wewe unajua kufafanua vizuri. Maybe you should come to church." Labda unaweza kuja kanisani. Hear more about these things. Usikie mengi zaidi kuhusu haya. And then you can explain more. Kisha ufafanue zaidi sasa. I said, "Where is your church?" Nikamwambia kanisani liko wapi? We were staying in the high density. Tulikuwa tunaishi sehemu yenye msongamano like uh, uh, like you know those bed locations where there's a lot of people yeah tulikuwa tunaishi sehemu ambayo ina msongamano mkubwa sana wa watu so i i didn't want to associate with people with, from town kwa hiyo nilikuwa sitaki kuchanganya na na watu ambao wanatoka mjini huko so i said ah, i'm not going there nikasema ah mimi huko siendi huko si kanisani sana sema lakini wale watu ni wazuri they 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 they, 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 they you know they are not proud sema unajua hawana kujisikia And I said I don't have new clothes. Nikamwambia lakini nguo sasa sina nguo mpya. If I go there I'm going to feel embarrassed. Nikienda huko mimi nitajisikia vibaya. He says those people they are not even like that. Asema wale watu hata wala hawajali mambo hayo. And I said I don't have money for the taxes. Nikamwambia nauli yenyewe mimi sina ya kwenda kanisani. He says don't worry in that church. Asema usijali kule kanisani. If you don't have money after service that trustees will give you money. Kama huna nauli baada ibada wadhamini watakupa. I said mm, 
Nikasema mm, hiyo kanisa itakuwa ni ya mashetani. Kanisa gani na wapa watu hela za nauli? Ah, siendi huko. And then he says no. Asema hapana. He thought he had an idea. Akawaza kwamba anawaza so lazia. Asema ah kule kanisani kuna mabinti kule Maybe you can get a girlfriend. Baba anaweza kupata msichana rafiki kule. There I said my friend. Nikamwambia wewe sasa. I cannot go to church to get a girlfriend. Siwezi kwenda kanisani kupata rafiki wa kike. Those girls in town their fathers have got cars. Hao wasichana wa mjini baba zao wana magari. And I'm walking. Mimi natembea kwa mguu. And she's in the car. Na yeye yuko kwenye gari. Sasa nitaongea naye. If we are going to that church. Kama unaenda kwenye kanisa hili. Let us just go for the word. Hebu tuende kwa ajili ya neno. And nene. leave all these other things. Na mambo hayo yote tuyaache. And then we agreed and I came to church. Tukakubali nikaenda kanisani. So I came to church. Nikafika kanisani. The pastor was preaching on the blood tag. Blood tag. Blood tag. Eh mchungaji alikuwa anahubiri kuhusu alama ya damu. So he's talking about how cows has got tags on the ears. Akawa anazungumza kuhusu ngombe jinsi ambavyo wanawekewa alama kwenye masikio. And he's talking about the rapture. Akawa anazungumza kuhusu unyakuo. How then the ranger will round up all the heifers that has got the blood tag. Namna ambavyo yule msimamizi wa ngombe jinsi ambavyo angekusanya ngombe wote wenye alama masikioni mwao. And he said they look alike all Na of them. Asema wote wanafanana. He says but he's not worried about the color of their skin. Kwa sababu anasema yeye alikuwa hajali rangi ya ngozi zao. He says the ranger is worried about the blood. Anasema yule mfugaji alikuwa anaangalia sana ile alama ya sikio. And he says the blood tag is the token. Sema ile alama ya damu ndio ishara that the ranger is using to determine which one should go in or should not go in. Ambayo yule msimamizi alikuwa ndani anaitumia kuamua ngombe gani aingie na nani asiingie. And he said when we came to this earth. Na akasema tulipokuja duniani hapa. We all had blood tags. Wote tulikuwa na alama za damu. That say this one is a genuine believer. Ambazo zinasema huyu ni mwamini halisi. And this one is not a genuine. Na huyu sio mwamini halisi. This was my first sermon in the message. Ilikuwa ndio somo langu la kwanza katika ujumbe. The church was full of people. Kanisa lilikuwa limejaa watu. A big church. Kanisa kubwa. I looked at all the people in the church. Nikaangalia wale watu kanisani. And I said God loves me so much. Nikasema ah Mungu analipenda sana. He created all these people. Aliumba watu wote hawa. And they are not even going to heaven. Na hata mbinguni hawaendi. It, they just came here to accompany me to church so that I don't feel lonely. Wamekuja kunisindikiza hapa kanisani ili nisijisikie mpweke. And that preacher. Na yule mhubiri. I believe he's only preaching to me. Nikafikiri nikaamini anaonihubiria mimi peke yangu. So and the pastor said, "Are you a genuine heifer?" Mchungaji akasema, "Je, wewe ni ngombe halisi?" And I literally stood up on my feet. Nikajikuta nimesimama kwenye mti. Yes, that's a genuine evil. Sasa mimi mwenyewe ni 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 ngombe halisi mimi. Sit down. Sit down. Ndugu mmoja kama ikaa bwana wewe. Embarrassing as it church. Una huzunisha hapo unaleta fujo. Yes, I embarrassed them. Lakini kweli niwafanyia fujo. But from that day. Lakini toka siku hiyo. I have never missed the church service. Sijawahi kukosa ibada kanisani. Because the message to me. Kwa sababu ujumbe kwangu mimi. Was even if everyone there. Ulikuwa kwamba hata kama mmoja wote mle ndani. Including the preacher. Hata akiwemo mhubiri. I believed that the message was meant for me. Niliamini kwamba ule ujumbe ulikuja kwa ajili yangu. You must stand and say I am the only one. Lazima usimame useme ni mimi peke yangu. If we say 12 will not make it. Tukisema 12 on that on that 12. Hawataweza ku You must be number 1. Ah uh, 12 ndio watakao faulu. This message Kati yao 12 lazima uwemo kwa sababu ujumbe huu ni kwa ajili yako. This message is your message. Ujumbe huu ni ujumbe wako wewe. Don't let the devil rob it from you. Usiache shetani akupore ujumbe huu. Hold it with pride. Wewe ushikilie kwa kujivunia. I went back to school. Nirudi shule. I would make them cry. Nikawa ningewafanya ni walie oh, shule. Oh brother would blast. Do ndugu ningeanza kulipua. They used to call us master blasters. Walikuwa wanatuita sisi mabingwa wa kulipua. We would blast. Tulikuwa tunalipua kabisa. As young people. Kama vijana wadogo. Blast blast. Kulipua kurarua tu. These girls that get scared. Ma binti wanaovalia sivi pastuo ili wamevaa. And bend them with irons. Na kujaribu ku 
kupindua pindua sketi kwa kuzinyosha na so that she can now cut it and it becomes a mini sketch kusudi aweze kuikata iwe ki, kimini and these girls that were lying about school fees and change receipts so na, that the parents can give them more money na bibinti ambao wali vijana ambao walikuwa nabadilisha risiti ili wazazi we, walipe hela zaidi wanafoji blast tungewaralua wale so would come to school and blast kwa tulikuwa tunakuja shule tunapiga tu teachers would come in the classroom walimu wanaingia darasani they would think there is a funeral wanafikiri labda kuna msiba mle <laughs> yani tunaralua mpaka darasa wanalia tu na tubuni if you don't repent msipo tubu you are going to hell mnaenda kuzim no jokes hakukuwa na mzaha i'm telling you nakwambia and then you hear people start saying mwanza kusikia watu wanaosema i've got this textbook nina hiki kitabu hapa i stole it from that one ni mlimu ibia rafiki yangu we say take the textbook go and Mambia, give that rudisha hicho kitabu right kwa mwanza wali tubu mle kanisani takes the textbook anachukua kitabu moja kwa moja wazi wazi anarudisha i'm very sorry eh nimesamee ndugu yarafu last women wearing trousers and piga mavazi mabaya kuvaa suruali wanawake and then you hear um, i've got some trousers unasikia binti anatoka mwanafunzi anasema nina suruali nyumbani anatubu what should i do nifanyeje sasa should i give it to somebody next door ni wape ni wagawie majirani no if you yes. give it to the somebody next door you are going to make somebody next door to go to hell o, you ukizigawa suruali hizo utamfanya na yule yule mgawia aende kuzimu choma suruali hizo What should I do? I've got CDs and DVDs. Nifanyeje sasa nina ma video, ma CD. I've got a television. Nina TV. Plastics. Piga. Burn the CDs. Fu, yani zikeni hayo ma CD. Throw the dirty out. Tupa uchafu wote. Even myself also. Hata mimi mwenyewe. I was a class monitor and there are some books that I had changed some names. Nilikuwa kiranja darasani na kuna vitabu nilikuwa nimebadilisha majina. To try and protect my friends. Kujaribu kuwalinda marafiki zangu. And I told my friends, my friends I'm now a believer. Nikawaambia rafiki zangu sasa hizi mimi muaminio. I'm going to the teacher to expose you. Naenda kwa mwalimu kuwashtakia wote nyao. Oh, they're like, "Oh, repent on your part, don't include us." I say, "Yeah." Nasema, "Ah, jitubie mwenyewe bwana usituingize kwenye mambo hayo." The problem is my sin Sema, includes you people. Nikasema, "Ah, dhambi yangu ilihami ya kwenu sasa ninyi i'm going to expose you lazima na nyie mfichuliwe if your sin includes some people here kama dhambi yako inamhusisha mtu mwingine basi nenda kwa mchungaji uwashitakie don't come with that scripture of saying love, love covers a multitude of sin usije na maandiko anayosema upendo unafunika wingi wa dhambi that's not what we are talking about hiyo si tunazongomzia weka wazi dhambi the scripture also says he that covereth sin becomes a partake of it biblia inasema pia inasema kwamba yeye ambaye anafunika dhambi anakuwa ameshiriki dhambi hiyo pia young people know each other stories na vijana wanajuana hadithi zao moja kwa mwingine this one is doing this this one is doing ana unakuta kijana anajua fulani anafanya hivi we anafanya hivi lakini anahifadhi hasemi until you are destroyed mpaka unaharibika we mwenyewe what saved us kilicho tuokoa sisi was exposing evil ilikuwa ni kuweka wazi uovu and declaring what i am na kutangaza kile nilicho when i went to university nipoenda chuo kikuu na first thing kitu cha kwanza introduce yourself ni kujitambulisha i'm tinashe mahere mimi naitwa tinashe mahere end time message believe mimi ni muamini wa ujumbe wa wakati wa mwisho you are looking at me wakati wanashangaa you are looking at a man that wants to go into the rapture kama mnanitazama mimi angalieni mtu anayeenda kunyakuliwa so even when i try to compromise kwa hata nilipojaribu kupatana the people at the university wale watu wa chuo kikuu pale they were calling me you know they call you pastor even if you are not a pastor walikuwa nakuita mchungaji hata kama wewe sio mchungaji they like ah pastor look at you now Ukitaka kufanya hata kosa wenyewe wanasema mchungaji unataka kufanya nini mchungaji unafanya mambo gani mchungaji sasa if you are sister they will call you mama mchungaji kama ni dada unaitwa mama mchungaji Ah uh, mama mchungaji are you supposed to be doing that? Ah mama mchungaji na wewe unafanyaga? If you mchungaji. declare your position. Ukijitangaza you nafasi yako. Yourself. Unajirinda. Mm. Mm. You protect yourself. Unajirinda. I'm a believer. Mimi ni mwaminio. I'm a Christian. Mimi ni Mkristo. I don't do this. Sifanyi hili. Don't say at our church they don't allow it. 
au usiseme kanisani uh-huh. kwetu hawaruhusu uh-huh. hiyo a uh-huh. sio hicho that one is the wrong way of doing it hiyo ndio njia mbaya ya kutangaza it's like you want it but we are not allowing you inaonekana kwamba unalitaka jambo hilo lakini kanisa linakuzuia say i don't want it useme mimi silitaki why is it you don't put makeup kwa nini ujipodoi say makeup is for Jezebel ah vipodozi ni vya Jezebel i am not Jezebel mimi sio Jezebel so i don't put on makeup kwa mimi sipaki vipodozi i don't like it mimi sivipendi si ni wanaume watu wazima wanafukuza kidude cha mviringo kilicho ja upepo the problem is our brothers na wamevaa nguo za wanawake they are busy watching those things Unakuta ndugu wako busy wametoa macho yote wanaangalia privately kwa siri Brazil Brazil and he, eh. the brother's team loses and he comes here to church he can't even say amen Unakuta timu yake imepoteza imefungwa akija kanisani hawezi kusema amina So we wonder why kwa sababu timu imefungwa eh? He's busy watching soccer Ana yuko busy anaangalia mpira. Let me tell you. Hebu ngoja ngoja niwaambie. There's so much we could talk about. Kuna mengi tungeweza kuzungumza. Let me wrap it up. It. Lakini ngoja niafungie yote hapa. I had a friend of mine. Nilikuwa na rafiki yangu. When we when we believed the message together. Mimi paamini ujumbe pamoja. So uh, I was not a hypocrite. Mimi sikuwa mnafiki. So certain things were not yet clear to me. Sasa baadhi ya mambo mimi yalikuwa hayako wazi kwangu. So we went to a youth meeting kutukaenda kwenye mkutano wa vijana and we told each other we want to receive the holy ghost tukaambiana kwamba basi tunataka kupokea roho mtakatifu at the meeting kwenye mkutano huo you must have friends lazima uwe na marafiki that encourage you in the things of god ambao wanakutia moyo kwenye mambo ya Mungu don't, don't associate with the these ones that are always talking about other things besides the word of god usishirikiane na hao ambao wanazungumzia mambo mengine nje ya neno la mungu fashion stars and things like that mitindo ya masta na vitu kama hivyo you must have brothers or sisters that are your friends lazima uwe na ndugu na dada ambao ni marafiki zako that, that, that you know if i'm with my brother friend ambazo ambao unajua kwamba nikiwa na rafiki yangu huyo is asking me are you living right au ananiuliza ndugu unaishi vizuri kweli are you listening to the tapes unasikiliza kanda so this friend of mine said we we told each other we are going to receive the holy ghost kwa ndugu rafiki yangu yule nikamwambia basi tuende tukapokea roho mtakatifu so we were the three of us tulikuwa watatu sasa so we went there the youth meetings went on tukaenda kule mikutano ya vijana ikaendelea and uh, so the people would wake up in the morning to pray then after that you know some would go out so watu wangeamka asubuhi kuomba baada hapo wengine wanatoka nje kule it was like a mountainous area so people would go to the mountains kama tu sehemu ya milimani watu wangeenda milimani kule it was really like military training kwa ilikuwa kama vile ni mafunzo ya kijeshi prayer maombi and they were prayer warriors and i was not yet a prayer warrior kweli walikuwa ni mashujaa wa maombi lakini mimi nilikuwa bado sijaingia you know those people who pray for one hour and non stop unajua wale watu ambao wanapiga risali zima la maombi anaongea bila kusimamisha and i was thinking i need to sleep here nikasema hasa hapa mimi nataka nilale so my friends hasa rafiki zangu praying with those people walikuwa naomba pamoja na hao watu after the youth meetings baada ya mkutano wa vijana We said come. Tukasema njoni njoni. Let's take a stock. Hebu ngoja tuangalie hapa. Uh, did you receive the Holy Ghost? Eh, uh, ulipokea Roho Mtakatifu? My other friend says by the grace of God. Yeye yeah, ndugu yangu rafiki yangu mmoja akasema kwa neema ya Mungu. I received the Holy Ghost. Nimepokea Roho Mtakatifu. And then my other friend. Yeye yeah, rafiki yangu mwingine akasema by the grace of God. Sema kwa neema ya Mungu. I also received the Holy Ghost. Na mimi nimepokea Roho Mtakatifu. And they said what about you? Na wakasema na wewe vipi? I said ish I didn't receive. Nasema ah mimi bwana sijapokea kitu. I was genuine. Nilikuwa muwazi kabisa. So I said ah myself I didn't Nikuwa. receive the Holy Ghost. Nambia mimi mwenyewe binafsi sijapokea. So those days there was a Zimbabwe had qualified for the Africa Cup of Nations. Sasa siku hizo Zimbabwe walikuwa wamefuzu kwenda kwenye shiriki kushiriki michezo ya ya kombe la Afrika eh? so uh, kombe la, la Afrika mashindano ya Afrika 
So I said, you brothers, since you have the Holy Ghost, you can't watch Africa Cup of Nations. Myself, I don't have the Holy Ghost I'll watch. So those brothers said, who will never watch? Sasa, we are not watching anymore. So actually, I would go to my friend's house, they had a television. The, the, the one with the Holy Ghost. So their parents were not believers. So I would sit. I'm sitting, I'm sitting on a double sofa. Watching soccer. Watching soccer. And my friend is outside. Rafiki yangu yuko nje. He has to walk around until soccer is finished. Na bidi azurule tu uko nje mpaka mpira uishi. So he's just hearing bo 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 bo. Yeah! Sasa akawa anasikiliza tu. Bo 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 bo. Some people in Africa it's like we worship soccer some will run in the street and yeah. And then they are shaking him. Oh, did you see that and he didn't see it? Oh, sasa kule huko Africa kwetu watu wanaposhabikia mpira so, wanaruka mpaka wanakimbia hasa mmoja akaenda kamkamata yule rafiki yangu kamdisti akapiga ke oh, vipi wamefunga kule hujasikia wewe <laughs> so they had said <laughs> if i ever watch soccer walikuwa wamesema kwamba mimi nikiangalia tena mpira let something happen to me basi jambo fulani linitokee so i said oh it's okay nikasema ah sawa kwa sasa mmesema mwenyewe so now this temptation people keep doing this you know so, celebrating and coming out sasa wa, ukawa kuna majaribu watu wanatoka wanasherekea wanashangilia ule mpira nini so it's making my friend out there what's really going on sasa rafiki yangu anaanza kujiuliza so he started coming into the yard slowly akawa anakuja ananyata taratibu taratibu and then he went under the window akaenda kwenye dirisha i'm sitting inside mimi niko sebuleni naangalia and he starts watching akaanza kuchungulia dirisha and uh, via the window kupitia dirishani i'm sitting i'm enjoying ah, this brother mimi naangalia na furahia ah, is watching via the window yeye yeah, anachungulia dirishani and then there was almost a goal na karibu goal iliingie and then i heard ah nikasikia mtu dirishani anasema ah on the window now eh nani huyo so <laughs> i Tend to see who is that one that Nikangeo was sema ah nani huyo So the brother tried to raise his head very fast Ndugu akajaribu kuchomoa kichwa chake haraka And he hit his head on the corner of the window Akajipigiza kichwa chake kwenye ncha ya ile dirisha And then I had my way my way my way my way my way Nikasikia mtu anasema aje 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 running away Anakimbia I said who is that Kasema nini hicho I didn't see anybody Sikuona mtu Then after the game baada ya mchezo kuisha sasa the brother came to me ndugu akaja sasa he says brother sema ndugu if you receive the holy ghost kama umepokea roho mtakatifu never vow to say if i watch soccer something should happen to me kamwe usiape kwamba nikiangalia mpira kichote like kinipate lightning was striking my head nisikia kama radi inanipiga kichwani i said god was disciplining you nikamwambia mungu alikuwa anakuadabisha wewe what you are not supposed to do kufanya kitu ambacho hukutaka kufanya if i receive the holy ghost mimi nikipokea roho mtakatifu i will not watch that mimi sitaangalia hiyo even with effort hata kwa jitihada because the holy ghost takes out the desire kwa sababu roho mtakatifu anaondoa ile shauku of the things of the ya world. mambo ya ulimwengu that is what the holy ghost does ndicho roho mtakatifu anachokifanya the holy ghost is not jumping up and down and roho mtakatifu sio kuruka juu kushuka chini spoken tongues or trying to say kwa lugha na kusema no. napokea it's a change of life ni mabadiliko ya mazi, maisha things i used to do mambo niyo kwa nazo ya kufanya no siyafanyi tena the holy ghost huyo ndio roho mtakatifu it's christ living in you ni kristo anaishi ndani yako that desire is not there anymore shauku zile hazipo tena if you are a girl you want to dress nice kama ni binti unataka kuvaa vizuri if you are a boy you want to dress nice kama ni kijana mvulana unataka kuvaa vizuri you want to talk properly unataka ongee vizuri You don't speak the language of the world. Utaki kunena lugha za ulimwengu. You don't behave like the world. Utaki kunena kama ulimwengu. You are the church of tomorrow. Ninyi ndio kanisa la kesho. You are the pastors of tomorrow. Ninyi wachungaji wa kesho. 
You need to marry right. Natakiwa uwe sahihi. Do right. Ufanye sahihi. Be right. Uwe sahihi. Be genuine. Uwe halisi. Mm. Let brothers be brothers. Hebu wavulana wawe wavulana. Sisters be sisters. Ndugu wawe ndugu dada wawe dada. Yes. You greet with a soft hand your sister. Unasalimia kwa mikono laini, vidole laini we ni dada. If you are a brother, kama ndugu akikushika proper handshake. Ah, akusalimie vizuri. Brother Branham would say shake shake me, shake my hand like a man. Ndugu Branham alikuwa anasema nishike mkono kama mwanaume. Don't be like and you are a brother. Ndugu alafu unasalimia kama Mungu ampariki sana. Ah 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 ah. Those brothers we don't want them. Aina hizo za wadali ya wandugu hatuwataki. Brothers that speak in soprano. Wandugu yani wandugu wa ambao wanaongea yani sauti ya nyembamba nyembamba yani laini laini. Brothers. Ndi eh ndugu ndugu. Yani ndugu anaongea kama msichana. Eh? Real brother. Wewe unatakiwa useme mimi naitwa Tinashi Mahere. Unge kama mwanaume. In South Africa we have a problem with homosexuals. Kule Afrika Kusini tuna tatizo la mashoga. And some are here also in Tanzania there's no country without homosexuals. Na wengine wako hapa hapa Tanzania hakuna nchi isiyo na mashoga size. Don't open yourself up to that. Usifungulie mwenyewe hadi kufikia huko. Strong men. Uwe mwanaume kabisa mwenye nguvu. Tight things as a brother. So na vavi nguo vimekubana bana kama mwanamke wewe ndugu. Be a real man. Uwe mwanaume halisi. There are some colors that are not for brothers. Kuna rangi ambazo hazifai kwa hata kwa wana kwa, wana, pink, kwa wandugu. Pink, pink shoes, yellow shoes. Viatu vya pinki, viatu vya yellow. You will be in trouble. Utakuwa kwenye matatizo. I once went to, to, to a certain holiday with another brother. And uh, you see, while we are there, na unajua wakati uko pole sasa. Is in the in the other chalet, I mean the other chalet. Yeye alikuwa sehemu so we are supposed to meet for breakfast. Eh analala sehemu nyingine na mimi nalala sehemu nyingine takiwa tukutane kwa ajili ya kiamsha. I see that brother is coming wearing a, a baby pink trousers. Nikaona ndugu anakuja amevaa a baby pink you know that pink for babies eh yani amevaa eh suruwali ya rangi ya ya pink ya kama pink said brother kama nduku you see if we walk into that restaurant you wearing this pink and me wearing like this they will think you are my wife nduku go and wear something tukitembea na wewe sasa hizi tunaingia kwenye mgahawa pale na wewe umevaa suruwali ya pink na mimi nimevaa hivi watasema wewe ni mke wangu they are colors for brothers. Kuna rangi ambazo ni za wanaume. Yeah. Eh. We don't want sissified brothers. Yeah. Hatutaki wa ndugu dondo wadume who, who put jello jello on their hair. Ambao wanapeweka jello. You know jello those on the, the, he wants to have calves uh, with you know what is calves. Eh ana 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 anaweka nani mawimbi kwenye kwenye nywele zake anaweka way or oh, lip gloss lip lip gloss you know that one that i put on the mouth au anaweka nani anapaka rangi mdomoni anangarisha midomo if you are a brother and you are using lip gloss go and throw it in the bin kama we ni ndugu use your saliva unapaka rangi unangarisha midomo yako mwanaume nenda katupe hizo takataka kule tumia mate don't use lip gloss yeah, tumia amen. mate wewe mwanaume uwe mwanaume some brothers in benoni in our church na kwa baadhi ya wandugu kanisani kwa if you are like a desic like a desic like a desic like just you know you being too soft for a man Eh, kama uh, yani ndugu nakuta ni, ni le, laini laini yani ya viavu we will shake you a little bit ukiwa hivyo tunakutikisa kidogo eh hey, we send some brother say just go and hold him by the belt they just shake him so that he is eh hey, tunaagiza baadhi ya wandugu tukiona ndugu anajitembeza tembeza na zinyonga nyonga we don't want tunamwambia ndugu wanyanyue nenda shike mkanda <laughs> nyanyua mtikise we ni mwanaume bwana <laughs> yeah acha hivyo <laughs> yeah 
We want real brothers. Ndiyo, tunataka wa ndugu kabisa. You, you are a sister, be a real Kama sister. Kama ni dada, uwe dada kweli kweli. Dada. Don't say, I'm an independent woman, I don't want a man. Usianze kutuambia, ah, mimi na jitegemea mwana amke sitaki mwana you have, you have Mimi si olewi. Una roho mchafu. We don't want that. Atutaki yo. Be nice. Uwe mtamu, uwe mzuri, uwe m... If they say the sisters are, are coming to clean the church, clean. Wakisema wadada watakuja kusafisha kanisa, njoo ufayo shughulike hapa. You find married sisters, some of them with pregnancy, are washing plates and doing things. Unakuta wa mama watu wazima wengine ni wajawazito kwenye sehemu za kuosha vyombo ndio wako busy wanaosha vyombo wanasugua masufuria and the young girl is busy talking to the mabinti wako tu wanapiga story wanachati wanacheka we can't have that hatuwezi kuwa na vitu kama hivi you hivyo. are the young people ninyi ndio vijana show yourself take tell onyesha sit down onyesha kwamba we ni binti waambie wazee wakae chini wakupishe uoshe vyombo we will help you Tuta kusaidieni tu. You find an elderly sister is is troubled she has got two babies sitting there at the back. Unakuta dada mzee au mtu mzima yuko kule nyuma kakaa na vitoto vinamsumbua kule. And you are busy sitting with a friend. Alafu wewe huko tu umekaa busy huko. Go and get a baby. Nenda kabebe bebe watoto kule usaidie. Ndio chukua kibebe. Help the elderly. Jaribu kusaidia. Some of you are not married because of your attitude. Wengine wenu hamjaolewa kwa sababu ya mienendo yenu. Always trying to look like uh, um, uh, me. I don't Ki, want the Kila wakati what wewe baby for me so. Wewe unasema kila wakati ah mimi sitaki tabu bwana vitoto vya kujafu wachafu. This one is not ready for marriage. Mungu anasema yule hayuko tayari kuolewa yeye. She is fearing the vomit of a baby. This one. Ana 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 anaogopa kucheuliwa na mtoto. Help even at home. Hata nyumbani. Maybe your sisters you are two or whatever. Mko wa dada, mko wa wili au lazima. Mama is always calling that one. Please do this this one. Dada, na mama kila wakati anasema, "Ebu tafadhali fanya hili, fanya hili." She's stubborn. Huyo mwingine yeye kaidi. Doesn't want to do anything. Jeuri hataki kufanya chochote. She is lazy. Ni mzembe. We are not white people. Sisi si wazungu. We are black people. Sisi ni weusi. Our sisters wash our clothes. Dada zetu wanaofua nguo zetu. If you can't do the training God will not give you the husband. Kama ufanye hayo mazoezi Mungu hawezi kukupa mwanamume. Hawezi kupa mme. Cooking is not my thing. This mimi bwana ku... not my thing. Ah mimi kupika maana mimi siwezi sipendi sana kupika. Ah, Kufua nguo ah, mimi bwana hivyo vitu sitaki. You are not ready. Wewe hauko tayari. Mama says go and put cooking oil in the food. Mama anasema nenda kaongeze mafuta kwenye chakula pale. Just take the bottle. Do, 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 Unaenda tu nafungulia mchupa unamimina tu. God is watching you. Mungu anakuangalia. Go and wash the plates. Nenda kaoshe vyombo. You take the soap you leave it in water until it dissolves. Unachukua sabuni unaweka kwenye maji mpaka kipande cha sabuni kinayeyukia mle kwenye maji. God is watching you. Mungu anakuangalia. Your own clothes sister they are still dirty on the collar and everything. God Nguo says, zako mwenyewe dada zimechafuka kola yote chafu. I can't allow my son to go through such trouble. Mungu anasema mm, siwezi kuruhusu mtoto wangu aingie kwenye matatizo yale. It's the principles of life. Hizo ni kanuni za maisha. It's what you do. Kile unachokifanya. Even as a young man. Kama mvulana. Never have an attitude. Usiwe na be respectful. Uwe na, na mtu mwa heshima. Your parents, even if they are unbelievers, respect them. Hata kama wazazi wako ni wasioamini, waheshimu. Don't have an attitude of saying, one day I'm going to drive my car. I'm going to show people in this church. Utusianze kusema siku moja nitaendesha gari langu, nitawaonyesha watu hapa kanisani. Mimi na. Until you until you change that mindset. Mpako badilishe mtazamo wako. You, drive, you go with the 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 the, 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 the motorbike utatembea na pikipiki you will not be driving it you will be behind it gari hutakuwa hata pikipiki hutakuwa naendesha utakuwa na bebwa tu na boda boda god does not want people with attitude mungu hataki watu wenye mtazamo mibaya god loves people with respect mungu anataka watu wenye heshima let the boys pack the chairs be the one that volunteers ah uh, ebu nani wavulana wapange viti kanisani jichanganye humo na wewe usike volunteer Changia mchango wako uonekane. Jitolee. What can we do on this yard? 
Inatakiwa uulize mchungaji hapa uwanjani sasa tufanye nini kazi gani iliyopo Hivi tukate kate matawi tupunguze nani majani hapa what, what Nyumbani kwako mchungaji kuna kazi gani nikusaidie huko God watches disciplined people. Mungu anaangalia watu wenye adabu. Sio watu wenye kiburi. I'm not anybody's servant. I'm not. Mimi si mtumishi wa mtu yote. The Bible says Joshua was a servant of Moses. Biblia inasema Yoshua alikuwa ni mtumishi wa Musa. And you say you don't want to be anybody's. Na wewe unataka kuwa mtumishi wa yoyote. That's why you can't have the blessing of Joshua. Ndio maana huwezi kupata baraka za Yoshua. Some of us wengine wetu we have learned that the blessing Tumejifunza kwamba baraka of God is in saving. Ziko katika kutumika, kumtumikia, kutumikia watoto wa Mungu. God bless you. Mungu awabariki. Mungu awabariki sana. Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fanya kilicho sahihi ni wajibu wako kwa Mungu. Think right is your duty to yourself. Waza kilicho sahihi ni wajibu kwako kwa kwa wewe mwenyewe. And you will always come out right. Na kila wakati utatoka ukiwa sahihi. God bless you. Mungu awabariki. Bwana awabariki. Well, <coughs> nafikiri ame, ametoa kitu cha cha msingi sana. <coughs> ametoa kitu cha sawa tu. Kitu cha msingi sana. Uh, the main thing is kwa sababu mnakuwa katika mazingira because uh, tofauti na sisi wazee. You are growing in a different environment from us the elders <coughs> for us we didn't have whatsapp and those social medias so those characters from america for us we didn't have a chance of seeing them but now what you have heard from him is saying that now the whole world has got one character anataka washindi and god wants overcomers sio tu watu legelege so he doesn't want just lazy people nabii ilikuepo ndani yake kutaka mwanaume awe mwanaume aso inside the prophet he had that thing of wanting a man to be a real man siku moja nabii mtu ameingia kwenye restaurant Uh, you see uh, the one day the prophet was saying that a person entered into a restaurant akapiga chafu <laughs> A person went entered into a restaurant and he sneezed so hard. <laughs> and brother Branham said that that's the kind of a person I want to be. <laughs> a person who is a real man. So uh, that's why the, the the world is giving women rights. So a man you should be a real man. So what he has said is a, a main thing is a very important thing. You should believe this message and should believe that God wants you to be an overcomer. And a sister should also be a real sister. She has given a very good examples of sister Mida. The examples of Rebecca and Sarah sio kwamba eti unaingia tu hivi lazima upambane kushinda know that you just enter you need to overcome something lakini mmepewa kitu kizuri ujumbe huu but you have been given a very good na, thing the message of the na, hour ningekuwa naweza nikamwambia toa nyingine ya pili ah <laughs> uh, if it were possible i would ask him to have another second session kwa sababu usiposhuhudia maisha yako kule nje if you don't testify of your life outside there utakuwa na maisha ya kanisani na maisha ya kule nje unafiki you have both kinds of uh, ah, life the, the church and the world <laughs> at the same time ametoa kitu kizuri sana i has given a very good thing nafikiri pastor nani ame ame record i think uh, it's being recorded tutaomba masikani uzima ili vijana wao na we shall ask you to give us a copy of the recording mungu awabariki sana god bless you nafikiri tumalize hapo i think we shall we can stop there you can stand up i need your touch lord
Once again, I need your touch, Lord. Once again, Hallelujah. I need your touch, Lord. Once again, I need your touch, Lord. Once again. Naomba ndugu moja kijana aje afunge kwa maombi hapo sio kila saa tunasema huduma hapana kijana mmoja aje afunge kwa maombi hapo I need your touch Lord once again I need your touch Lord once Amen. 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 